Right, they are tail in the world. We actually can't stop talking about this uh, because Imanen Hamrike is the man that did wonderful work for himself and the Tanzanian national team. Like we said the other time, that we need to celebrate all these icons while they are still alive. Let's talk about the under 23 national team and the game at hand today. They will be up against the Libyan national team. The first game they play is Fasen in Tunisia against the Libyan under 23 national team. They lost the game by two goals to zero, but they need to redeem themselves by scoring plenty of goals. And from the assistant captain of the Nigerian national team, the Super Bowl, Ahmed Musa, promising them score one goal, get one million. Then if and score up to ten goals, get ten million naira. Mm. Ah, Francisca, mm. <laughs> this is a good motivation. Uh, it is a very good motivation because I've seen situation whereby this comes in and you get to see the players get motivated. Of course. So let's just wait and see how they are going to. Um, redeem themselves today, but I was so disappointed with um, the game they played. Um, that was on Friday, on Friday, on, on, on Thursday. Thursday against the Libyans, ordinary Libyans, and now this is just. A but, but, but the game, high. they dominated. Play. They did. There was a matching but, order for a player. Now it was ten against eleven. It was. But the, 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 the second goal came in against the run of play. Exactly, but I feel for me, I feel. Um, a, a lot of things actually went under the bridge that needs to be corrected because the truth is the game of football is you have to get the chance you have the chance but it's all about converting the chances mm, yeah. which the Libyans they had they got two chances and they were able to convert it and that leaves um, leaves the um, Olympic yeah. team in a very high mountain to climb I want to see if this money coming from Ahmed Musa is going to actually be a, a motivator or a motivating factor for them but then it shouldn't be things like this that gets to motivate um, 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 players the truth is yes I love the fact that it's the likes of um, Imama that is handling um, um, the coach, but then he has to redeem himself to know. Let's see the reason why he's been the coach of um, um, the team. He's got quite a lot of fantastic players. Fantastic in, in players. That team. So what you have to you have to do something with um, these players. Yes, some people will say he's not going to be the one who will be on the field of play to lace his boots and score the goals, but then. We've seen the likes of Pep Guardiola issue out, dish out instructions mm. to um, players and they go on the field of play, they execute the job for him. So that's the same thing I want to see them do on the field of play today because anything short of victory today, then it might just be an exit door for them. It might just be an exit door and not just an exit door from the African Under-23 exactly. African Nations Cup of Nations, but they will not be qualifying for next year's uh, at Olympic Games and this is not what we are looking out for but let me ask you quickly Tayo uh, we all know that we all need to come to the desk with our head I with our hair games and with a lot of tactical approach uh, we, that we that we really help the cause of the team and coming from the Nigerian Football Federation from the GAFA in charge of the Super Eagles they've drafted four players from the Super Eagles to the under 23, starting from the goalkeeper, Francis Nzo, who made a blunder during the course of the game. Uh, Chidoze, uh, Chidoze Awadzi, he's been drafted, drafted him. Valentino, the under 20 man, who did wonderful work during the course of the under 20 tournament, uh, that was invited to the Super League, has been drafted to the under 23. And not forgetting some other couple of players that have been called upon to actually come to the rescue of this particular team, talking about the under 23 national team. The name of the players drafted him, let me just roll them out again. We have Zo, Awazim, Valentino, and Osime. Only for them mm. to go and help the team qualify for the tournament. Well, it's a good one, but I just felt we, we need to have players that will be able to do the job. We didn't need to have um, added those guys. If not for the fact that they have lost the first, uh, the first leg. And yeah. it's quite disappointing because even myself, I was... I gave it to them up exactly. because I believe the players. You said that the behind the course of the show. Yeah. Yeah. They able to take the one colleagues the and the likes of them. It's quite disappointing. And like she said, I don't think money. They should be giving money. Should be given to them to do the job. They are professionals, and mm. Nigerians are expecting more. Because the truth is that to look at uh, the situation of the country, football is the only. Uh, United the last resort mm. yeah, for Nigeria. That us together, <laughs> so yes. for them to be exactly. performing this shambolic is quite disappointing. But I just hope they will be able to redeem their image. Of course, of course redeeming their image is the name of the game they are playing today. Mm -hmm. And many among the circle loving persons out there are looking out for a victory. And not just a victory, but a qualifying victory. 
They might possibly win 3-1, but they are not going to qualify. But they need to win at least 3-0, 4-0, 4-1, 5-1. Now, of course, they need to score goal at plenty uh, to win, uh, to qualify for this part. But on the final note, let's talk about this. Holland uh, losing at home to Jami, two goals to three, Tayo. Well, uh, they, they actually, I saw the highlight, they did well, but you know Germans. They never say they are back in, back and, in their side. And also, if you look at the German side, if you look at their uh, their academy, they, they they tend to have one of the best academies. Of course. Value. So that also comes to play against the uh, the Dutch. It's a good one for them. Good one for the German national team, winning by three goals to two after they've been uh, longing for a V three on the uh, 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 big stage after they won the. Uh, the World Cup in 2014, it has, not, it has been a, a, a case of not too convincing performance coming from the German machine that they are, are, are like they do call them. Remember the, the, the defeat in the uh, 2018 FIFA World Cup whereby they were dumped out of the tournament at the preliminary stage. Well, this is where we are going to draw a cutting on today's edition. We are, we are sorry, we just need to talk about the Nigerian national team because the Nigerian national team is a in thing as we speak in football. We can't do it without talking about our own. We need to actually appreciate them before others we appreciate them. To the guys in the studio, I say you a big thank you for making today's edition a worthwhile. Yeah, it's a pleasure, Dotson. And for me, Thayo. Thanks, thanks for the opportunity. And to Prince William here, son, he was here earlier and he did a good man's job to all of the topics we have on ground. And to the viewers at home and those that pick up their phone, to extend a call to us, we say you a big thank you for always actually taking out your time to be a part of our production. And to everyone who have made today's edition a worthwhile starting from Kunle Phillips, not forgetting KG, uh, Jubri, a man that actually normally press the right button. We say thank you for making today's edition a worthwhile. Till we come your way again on Wednesday, I still remain at Day Dotton at Gumbiade. I'll enjoy the rest of your day.